Hello, it me, it Vimbert. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, this is a Nuzlocke that I'm doing with some friends called Pokeboomers, where we each play the games individually and then uh, come together in PvP at the end of the week and kind of compare our experiences while also probably heavily spying on each other. Uh, I have the rules in brief over on the right, but you can type exclamation mark rules if you're watching this live to have the, my helpful bot send you a link. But most of the relevant ones are over on the right. Uh, I did do some grinding off stream uh, from last time, mostly to get our boy Goldeneyes, who has been sadly neglected, our drowsy, a little bit more up to snuff, uh, get him, you know, confusion and to a level where he could actually maybe do a thing. Because my fellow co-hosts who know Gen 1 far, 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 far better than I do, have been talking about the need for an A team and a B team coming up just because of how our rules work and level caps and like the gyms we're gonna have to do and such, which has me a little concerned. So I'm kind of trying to boost up some backup members of the team, shall we say. So I put some work into Goldeneyes and also some into Rhea, uh, the Dratini, as some might notice. And uh, Goldeneyes is well underneath our level cap of 29. I don't plan on using him for the gym. I think I'll be fine with just uh, Borb and Kobe for the most part. However, there's this lovely Pokemon tower in Lavender, in Lavender Town that's almost entirely full of ghost poison types. So, yeah, let's go frolic among some graves, shall we? I do have the self scope before anyone freaks out. <laughs> I had to make sure of it for myself, because <laughs> I didn't want to waste uh, the encounter in here. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that had died. I have already fought the rival in here, so you won't be seeing that. That was last week, I think? We're taking longer than usual to complete this because the holidays kind of threw us off a bit. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A sylph scope might be able to unmask them. I mean, it's nice that they give you that hint. Gen 1 is pretty good about that. If you treat this like a normal RPG and, like, ask questions to NPCs, or, you know, interact with them, they'll be like, hey, you might need this thing. Hello, friend. Be gone, evil spirit! Well, that's just downright unfriendly. Channeler. Looks more like Exorcist, but alright. Oh, okay, evil spirit, but you're using that thing. Sure, that's fair. That's really unfortunate. I hadn't thought about Goldeneyes being slower than everything in here. <laughs> Goldeneyes, please. Please, this is supposed to be your training arc. Okay. Oh my god, you don't even one hit KO. Oh yeah, Nightshade, that does damage equal to level. So I need to watch out for that, huh? Great! Whew, the spirit left. So is the implication that they are possessed by Pokemon? Because that's surprisingly metal. And yes, I'm using the fresh water because uh, we only have so much time in the evening, and we have to get to Erica too. <laughs> Qua! Or maybe that is it. They're channelers, so they've all been possessed by the ghastlies. That is level 24, which is a greater cause for concern. Please don't open with Confuse Ray. Thank you. I appreciate that. Also, not sure why that doesn't affect me, because that should only not affect normal types, and GoldenEyes is just psychic. Unless it's different in Gen 1, because everything in Gen 1 is weird and bad. Hmm? What am I doing? Giving me your money, of course. No, we're just psychic. Huh. Alright. I mean, I'm certainly not complaining. Oh! That's an encounter. Oh, okay. I don't have to, like, manually identify these. That's... that's nice. Okay. 
So please go to sleep. Perfect. This shouldn't want to hit KO you, as we've been seeing. Whoo! Damn near, though. Uh, we need to get rid of these Pokeballs, and it's asleep. This should be safe. Damn. Uh, okay. Back to sleep. Shit. And so the cycle continues. Okay, there we go. Doesn't matter if he's confused if we just catch the thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright. I seriously doubt if I'll be using this ghastly, but... You know, it's nice to have as an option. A gas Pokémon. Almost invisible, this gaseous Pokémon cloaks the target and puts it to sleep without notice. I have a name in mind for this Ghastly. Um, I'm going to tab out and uh, update my Nuzlocke tracker real fast. I'm open to suggestions. But it seems like it might be too early for people to be here, so, uh... Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, it fits. <laughs> Everyone, welcome Chemtrails to the PC box. Where it will probably stay. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Chemtrails was transferred to Bill's PC. Sorry, one of those games where, you know, getting outside of the capture window at all makes a game go, Oh, well, guess you didn't want my sound. It's odd like that. You know, my co-hosts don't have to deal with this because they just play music the whole time, but I don't play that. <laughs> Literally. This actually would have been the perfect training arc for Kadabra. But he's kind of too good to hold back on... Okay, critical hit, at least. Okay, I can just switch out if he hits. <laughs> you know what? Since they're just handing me one, sure. Let's use the convenience and go to a Poke Center. Wow, so glad that it's so fast. So convenient. So handy. Wait, what am I saving? I'm something of a compulsive saver. Uh, and any game where I can just save anywhere, because I'm like, well, something bad might happen. You know. <laughs> Unless I'm not playing the game blind, in which case I'm like, oh, well, I pretty well know what's going to happen. Unless it's one of those games like XCOM where, you know... You haven't saved in a couple missions? You're in for a bad time. <laughs> Very well, Chandler. How powerful is your Ghastly? It's interesting that their Ghastlies are exactly as powerful as the Ghastlies that are, like, in the wild. I should probably be hypnosising these things first, but... Eh. Hell yeah. Training arc. Oh, headbutt! Nice! That is very good in Gen 2, and we have the useless garbage that is Pound, so... Let's learn that. Though I doubt we have shakeable trees in Gen 1. Wah, I'm saved! You are welcome. And thank you for the money. I know eventually Team Rocket does make an appearance here. I did kind of like... I 
tried to play this blind, but the PvP aspect has made that kind of impossible. Be cursed with me! Qua! I'd rather not, thank you. Uh, my encounter, uh, shock shock, was ghastly. Who I named Chemtrail and tossed in the PC box. Yeah, it's pretty- oh, god damn it. Golden eyes, please. Please. Okay. Good. Damn it. <laughs> I don't even know, can you encounter, like, a haunter in here? Is that even possible? I guess I didn't look up the encounter rates in here because I just assumed it was going to be the all ghastly party. Oh! That'd be pretty cool. I can survive at least a round because I know Nightshade can't crit. Oh, rare. Yeah, that figures. Or the game could be... Man, I do not understand why Lick is not affecting Golden Eyes at all. Because I thought that was just like a normal type thing. But it's Gen 1. I don't know. <laughs> what? A 690 money, nice. We can't crack the identity of the ghosts. Good thing I can with technology. <laughs> Beat me not! Phrasing. Ma'am? I th think these are ladies? Phrasing. It's actually really refreshing to be... damn it. Okay, hypnosis hit though. So this is safe to stay in. Very nice. Very good. Huh? Who? What? Yeah, nice try. I know you just wanted to pummel the crap out of a drowsy. It's understandable, really. If he wasn't on my side, I'd want to do the same. Let's see, there's a goodie here, robbing some graves. Eh. I guess. Ooh, HP up. Okay, that is actually a good prize. And you get one guess who this is going on. Correct! Ghost, no! Ha ha ha! This is just like a giant present to anyone who's running a psychic type. An annoying present, but still a present. God damn it, case in point. Ooh, okay, that's bad. Please hit. Thank you. Jeez, I should have maybe bought some more super potions. Critical hit. Beautiful. Where is the ghost? I punched it. I don't know if anyone's ever seen the classic, uh, copypasta of the goat, the legend of the ghost puncher, but I was thinking about that as I prepared for the stream today. Like, just a classic bit of internet memory. Okay, I appreciate the chances for more XP, but I'm kind of having to heal up Golden Eyes a lot. <laughs> If you're not familiar, it's just a 4chan story where, like, some guy encounters a ghost and just punches it, makes it his gym buddy, and then they, like, fight a bunch of ghosts in the neighborhood or something. Kind of an entertaining little thing. I think I saw it on one of those, um, 
like voice acting channels where they'll just read out different uh, Tumblr posts and things like that. It was a long time ago. I forget the details, but the legend of the Ghost Puncher. Would have made for an amazing name for my Mankey. Were I using it? But I didn't think of it at the time. So, oh well. Hello, delicious source of XP. God damn it, you're gonna hit yourself, aren't you? Really? You managed to do a thing other than hit yourself. I'm honestly impressed. And yes, Rhea is at level cap, but she requires approximately all the experience in the world to level up, so this is extremely safe. Yeah, that's only 134 and like, what? How much does it take to level up to 30? Yeah, 1900. That's, that's so much. We're never gonna get that much. Says man doomed by hubris. I would love to see, uh, not that. That's not great. These Tipnosis hits a lot. I didn't look it up, but it'd be nice if Golden Eyes could learn Dream Eater soon. Because I think that's like 75% of the reason to use him. You shall join us. Actually, would you like to join me? I'm setting up this criminal empire, and the ability to possess anyone would be really handy, so I could use it on politicians, and... No? Alright. Well, here we go again. Oh, it hit, though. Great. Uh, why don't I have... How close is Kobe? Very. But one ghastly won't hurt. Probably. Hopefully. What a nightmare! Were you hiding something behind you? It was a- it was a ghastly. Incredible. Golden Eyes, it would be really cool if you could, like, start to outspeed these things. That's probably not possible. Ugh. <sighs> Might have to... No, because I'll just have to fight through wild Pokemon again. I think I have another Super Potion. I can just throw a Super Potion at the problem. Yeah, this is fine. I've barely been using these things. No? Nothing here? Okay. That would be the sort of weird thing I'd expect from Gen 1, just like, oh! Place you can only access once, better check it. Come, child, I sealed this space with white magic. You can... Oh, this is a heal? Entered purified protected zone. Oh. Neat. I wish I had known that was here. Give me a soul. Ooh, a Haunter! Oh, that sprite is awesome! That is awesome! Man, I'm used to Haunter looking, like, a little more cartoony. That Haunter is, like, sinister! That's awesome! I love that! Makes me really curious if they toned that down at all in yellow... You woke up after a turn? Jesus. That's a lot of XP as well. Damn. <gasps> oh! I did not realize, uh... Drowsy evolved this quickly. 
I mean, I knew it happened at some point, but I thought it was another few levels. GoldenEye has evolved into Hypno. Pokemon's champion of questionable images everywhere. Those are really good stats. Is that special better than Kobe's? Ha! <laughs> of course not. But the defense, uh... The defense is just a little bit better. Just a smidge, just a tad. Just a bit. Purified Protected Zone. Alright, well, Golden Eyes with your newfound power. No, they're ghosts, not zombies. You're on the wrong kind of paranormal activity Pokemon movie. God damn it. <laughs> we hit, though. That's nice. Let Rhea finish it off. Wonder if I... No, because it's already asleep. Can't be asleep and frozen, I think. Let's try it. I think it's a low chance, but... Oh, that doesn't hit as hard anyway. Oops. Huh? If it's a joke, friend, I ain't laughing. Wow, there's a lot of trainers here. Ooh, money! Ah, ah. Those would be horrible bits of my voice to take out of context. You seem to have a talent for making those. Thing I'm not a lady. God, I can't get over how awesome that Haunter is. Like, I feel like if I had seen a young Vim would have seen that, like when these games came out, that probably would have actually haunted me a bit. Because, dang. Woo! I fell to evil spirits despite my training. Well, maybe your training's kind of bad. Okay, everyone's fully healed. I have a little bit... Mm, I should double check on Rhea. Okay, 17.30. Yeah, plenty of wiggle room. Plenty of wiggle room. Besides, if I accidentally overlevel here, then I just... Uh, what do you want, Ghastly? Oh! I actually outsped it! Sweet. Never mind then, Golden Eyes, just blast. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. Give me blood! Oh, did I miss the blood drive wagon? Ah! Man, outspeeding Ghastlies, that's surprising. I thought Hypno was a little slower. I'm sure not complaining, except I kind of am, because I have to fight Q and Zed's Hypnos, so... I thought my one edge was that they were slow as balls. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> They just really slap the poison typing kind of on everything in this gen. Thank you for the money. And for whatever this is. Oh. Well, I guess I can sell that to a Pokemart.
Like, Gold Knights is doing a bang-up job in this place, but... Cubby would do just as well. Maybe even better, because he's faster. He he he! He he he! Although I guess usually with the Kiki laughs, it's more like At least that's what I've always envisioned. It seems to be a very like Japanese onomatopoeia for laughing, because I never I never see that other places. Uh you'll hit, right? You wouldn't hit yourself. God damn it. <laughs> There's the nightshade. And it's no longer safe to leave you in. Uh, so let me switch into Confuse Ray. No? Okay. <laughs> Hero is getting preemptively salty. seems very high in here. I just want to enter the purified protected zone, which is the other way. But alas, me and directions continue to not get along. Yeah, Haunter must be rare, with me getting this many encounters and only seeing Ghastly so far. I don't think I saw... because I don't think Zed went in here, but... I don't think I saw when Hugh did this place, what he got. I assume just the Ghastly, based on my own luck, although... I don't know, yellow encounter tables, maybe he got a... <laughs> it's like, oh hey, here's a Gengar! And he was like, oh yes, thank you. Let me sip on my yellow version caviar that I will enjoy until I have to get punched in the face by gym leaders that are like 10 levels higher. Though honestly, I, I would not want to play yellow version. Just from seeing Hugh's struggles, that and, like... Man, Pikachu... Maybe it's just a function of Pikachu in this gen? It doesn't seem that... good? I know it's literally the mascot of Pokémon, but... Like, sure, it's cute, but... Man, the stats are not really that kind to it. And the moveset. You're level 28 already? We might need to back out of this place soon. Ugh. Wah. It is nice that this place is so predictable. You can just load up the psychic gun and blast away. Something fell out! Uh, you care to elaborate? Hair didn't fall out, it was an evil spirit! Sure. Hey, there it is, there's a haunter. Wow, coming in at level 26 as well. That'd be a great catch if that was your uh, first encounter in the area. Oh well. I'm happy enough with what I got. No need to be greedy. Alright, let's get whatever this is. Rare candy! Always welcome. Alright, Golden Eyes, do your thing.
I don't exact- I know there's like a Marowak that you fight in here. I don't know exactly where that appears. I assume there's some kind of map sprite, though. If not, I'm going to be at least a little bit annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I put some work into Golden Eyes off stream, and he has been literally soloing the entirety of Pokemon Tower. Well, he's gotten a couple of assists, but basically soloing the tower. Oh, is this the Marowak? It's just invisible? Oh! Ghost appeared. Oh, the Marowak just shows up! I get... Cool! Th this is- this is fine. Oh, damn it. Okay. Alright, let me put some work in on Golden Eyes, because it doesn't matter if we overlevel him, and we got the hypnosis. Oh, okay, I thought Marowak was stronger. <laughs> Never mind, just kill him. Kill her. The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Oh, does it? I thought it was, like, some highly coveted, like, really good Pokemon. Ah, here are the rockets. Okay. Hmm, understandable. I don't think I'm going to be able to clear all these guys just because of level issues, but let's see what we... I, at least one is fine. What do you want? Why are you here? In terms of the story, I'm actually not sure why I'm here. Why are you here, Rocket? Why are you here, really? What do you want out of life? And wouldn't it be better if you were part of a more... modern criminal organization? One that cared about the needs of its members? Or I could just kill your Zubats, that's fine. Wow, that's level 29 already. Very cool. Uh... No, Kobe kind of needs to... Oh, pfft. Meant to check. XP. Oh, 20... Okay, yeah, 25. So I'll finish this guy off and then start making final preparations for Erica. That's Golbat Sprite? Jesus! <laughs> First Haunter, now this guy. Of course. Give it one more try. I'll kill you, Golden Eyes. That could be bad. Okay, never mind. We're fine. And we're Kadabra, so we're faster. Farewell. 29 for Kobe. Nah, I give up. I'm not going to forget this. Oh, he just leaves. That's cool. However, the rest of the daring rescue mission will, um, have to wait. <laughs> for arbitrary challenge reasons. Sorry, whatever victims of Team Rocket's current crimes are. We have to become a Pokémon Master. Alrighty, Hypno is good, but... With him only having confusion, I don't know that he'll be that good against the boys, so we're going to bid farewell to him for now. And let's get good old Solid Snake back. At, wait, who else is level 29 in here? Oh my god, it's Golden Eyes. I have the memory of a fucking goldfish. Get Solid Snake back in here. Uh, up 
updating the overlay. There we go. So, Borb is kind of our primary attacker this time around, I think. Got plenty of XP to go. A killer move set. And everybody else is just kind of back up. Uh, Revia is literally useless here. Nap and Fap is along just to cut. Yeah, actually, let me look at... Uh... 1991. Just checking XP values, just in case, because it'd be bad to overlevel. 1156, okay. 1730. Okay, wow. <laughs> Solid Snake's super, super okay. Fly a little bit. It would be kind of nice to cheat more XP onto you, just to... Because <clears throat> I know Eric is worth a lot. It's a dangerous game, but... I think I might go for that. Alrighty, that not item. That is the wrong thing to do. take a real fast break. I know I've only been going for a half an hour, but time has worked out weirdly tonight. Uh, take a fast break, and then we'll go to the war room to for a completely unbiased examination of my chances, and we'll take on Erica. Might be a short one tonight. We'll see. Back in just a bit, everybody. I return. I'm sorry, uh, Drowsy's training arc I thought would take longer than that, <laughs> if I'm being completely and utterly honest. <laughs> so if you've not seen this before, I like to do a little segment here because this is a blind playthrough but it's more semi-blind. I'm having to do at least a little research because there's a PvP element to this. And I want to stand at least something of a chance against my fellow hosts Hugh Gaming and Zed were to play together, stay together. 
who I know at least one of them is lurking. So, because of that, I know exactly what I'm going up against uh, for the gym leaders and for them for mo the most part. And uh, we like to do a little bit of analysis here, sort of a fight preview. Uh, so let me call up that real quick. You know, I could have done this while I was on break, but uh, I am apparently not organized this week, so there's that. <laughs> Alrighty. So here we have the matchup between me, Vimbert, and Erica. On my on my side, we have I'm unstoppable in PvP. I've trained for this day. I've got big anti-hero energy, talking about spreading crime and all that. And let's be real, this gym isn't even gonna slow me down a little bit. And on my team, we've got Revia, named after a good cat, named after a great protagonist, and is ready to body slam everyone, though realistically she's not gonna do shit this gym. Uh Kobe, glass strong, defense bad, special is all you need. Rhea, the Dra the Dratini, new member of the team. She's the it's the long con. We're thinking for the future, including this Pokemon. Got Deadweight, but swears to Arceus, once she evolves, she will kill you all. We got Nap and Fap, who's got that reliable, chill energy, and is completely unburdened by morality. Though, realistically, just here to cut. We got Solid Snake, who internally pogs. He's dummy thick. And is, uh, actually quite effective. Like, way better than I ever expected he'd be. Finally, we have Borb, who has advanced kill set technology unlocked, thanks to that Hyper Beam TM. Finally has good moves. See also Fly. And is a soulless killing machine. Meanwhile, we have Erica, literally three mons, not very feminist. I mean, she's just very traditional. Wow, you took a picture of a Pokeball in midair, a jelly of Sabrina much? And uh, she's probably a turf. I have no real reason to bait, no real basis for that, but could be true. We have Vile Plume, a deceiver of legend. Do not trust Happy Fun Plume. And the smile never comes off. We have Tangla. He's got a permanent bad hair day. Too slow a boy and jokes, Hey, I've seen this hentai, b hentai before, like, all the time. you probably met that weeb who makes you think poorly of weebs. And then we have Victor Bell, who is... Why are you upside down, bro? Tail is weird, too. And Intivore. Very disappointing. Extremely disappointing. So as you can see, the overwhelming advantage is mine. And I don't expect this to pose much of a problem whatsoever. That has been the War Room. Now then, let's get to it, shall we? As I... Someday I'll program proper transitions, but I don't know how to do that yet. So we just have awkward jump cuts. I did go through and uh, clear this out ahead of time. Uh, last stream, so... All these trainers have been defeated by the elite crew you see before you. And, oops, sorry, hid one thing I needed to see. And now, our team is more than ready to take on Erica. Hello! Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome! My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. I'm also realizing I forgot to turn on animations. Like, again? How many times am I going to do this with gym leaders? Anyway. Okay, that definitely looks better in the game than it did on my <laughs> war room layout. But, uh, have you met my friend, Ice Beam? Ah, rap. Understandable. Let me just try and tank this a little bit and see if I get a chance. Fool! That is not doing as much damage as I had expected it to. Also, we're poisoned now. Hmm, the old rat... Crit rap poison combo. Okay. Nope, come on. We're getting you out of there. Borb, get in here and kill this thing.
Alright, that's fine. We can take a couple hits. Definitely gonna be faster than this chump. Yep. And fly. For a delicious coup de gras. Wait, what? What am I doing? Whatever. Oh, does Constrict... Okay, Constrict does not lock me. Now, this doesn't make sense now. Unless you know exactly what I'm up to. <laughs> what? 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 What are, what are you accusing me of? It's just... I, I just want... I just want to get a little more XP on my Dratini to be useful later. Just, you know, be ready for that level 30 next week. <laughs> Did I actually screw this up? I might have actually screwed this up. <laughs> I might have ruined my my uh, evil plan. Pretty sure I actually did. <laughs> yeah, with Mega Drain we can't solo that. Oops. Oh well. Serves me right, I suppose. Thrashing about, you s Whoa! Okay, that was a crit. Jesus Christ. Orb hyperbeam this chump and be done with it. Okay. <laughs> So, what I had planned was for Dratini to hit 30 and evolve to Dragonair by exploiting loophole in the rules, but uh, that did not happen because I didn't plan out enough. <laughs> Whatever. Serves me right for trying to circumvent stuff. That was your prediction? Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer to you the Rainbow Badge. Delicious money. The Rainbow Badge will make Pokémon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokémon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. TM21. Something I've been looking forward to. Mega Drain. Half the damage inflicts isn't drained to heal your Pokémon. Cause, uh... Nap and Fap really needs that. Great stats, but not that good of moves. Yeah, the OG. The OG indeed. <laughs> Just in case Rhea gets knocked out there. But yeah, that is Erica down. Nice and smooth and simple, except I... Ruined my sinister plot, but oh well, whatever. So I guess this is going to be a short stream tonight, because I'm going to heal up and then uh, get Borb to level 29, which is the level cap for what we're doing. And then I'll go over my chances, a little bit of analysis versus my other hosts. I don't think it'll take that much. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be like two encounters. <laughs> That'll be pretty simple. Alright, Borb, let's find- oh, perfect! <laughs> it should go down in nothing flat. Crit even beautiful, beautiful.
Your karate chop holds no- Damn it. I've never actually played uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. I know a lot of people kind of refer to those when they think of Gen 1. Like, even my little brother, he's a huge fan of the original games, but he doesn't play the actual original games. He just plays Fire Red and Leaf Green. And cool. That's a level cap for what we're doing, so this is our team going forward. Uh, we'll take a look at them, and then take a look at my odds, because on Friday, I'll be facing Hugh of Hugh Gaming and uh, Zedward from Play Together to Stay Together, using our actual teams from these, in a contest of glory. Yeah, it's true. I basically only know Gen 2, and even just compared to that, like, going back to Gen 1 is rough. You can't even, like, press the select button for anything. <laughs> so my team going into Friday is Borb the Fero. Great attack and speed. And uh, with, you know, a couple of good moves because I'm a crazy person and grinded for Hyper Beam. Kobe the Kadabra. Excellent speed, excellent special. With the psychic move, but terrible defenses. Nap and Fap the Vile Plume, who is just kind of... Oh, actually I need to teach Nap and Fap Mega Drain before I forget. Oh, I can teach that to Arbok? That's interesting. Hmm. Anyway, goodbye, Absorb. You, you're you kind of terrible. Not that Mega Drain is a huge amount better, but I'll take anything I can get. Revia, the Mighty Nita Queen. Good stats all around, and a pretty decent moveset, I feel, with the addition of Rock Slide. Rhea, the Dratini who is going to be more a threat later, but still... Oh my god, I was 144 XP short of my master plan. Damn it. <laughs> but we got ice and electricity on her. And then... Solid Snake, the Arbok. Just an all-around powerful contender. He's been pleasantly surprising me for a while now. Happy to have him on this team. And now, through completely unbiased analysis, it's not at all weighted in my direction... I want to give you my predicted preview of uh, the fights I'll be engaging in on Friday versus Zed and Hugh. So that means once again, we must go to the war room. Cue up the music. And we not that one. Let's take a look at our odds against Zed first. So first of all, we've got me. Video evidence shows that... Uh, a PvP win is, in fact, possible. I'm doing my best. A Vim win is better content, and I'm a completely unbiased hype man. We got Revia, named after a good ca cat, a great protagonist, and is ready to body slam everyone, and then take a little nap. Kobe, glass strong, defense bad, special is all you need. Just gonna psychic everyone to death. We got Rhea, who's the long con, kind of dead weight, but swears to Arceus, once she evolves, she'll kill you all. Nap and Fap, who is incorrectly represented here as a gloom, who's got that reliable, chill energy and is unburdened by morality, will sleep absolutely everyone. Solid Snake, who internally pogs, is dummy thick, and is actually quite effective. We got Borb, advanced kill sat technology, finally has good moves, and is a soulless killing machine. Meanwhile, we have Zedward, as the new points leader, has a moral obligation to give back to the point poor. Me. And don't Zed know the Borb is the word, rather than Zed being the word? Really, that's just basic knowledge. He needs to throw for the content, and uh, he's been giving... Well, this is... This last one is not true, because he's been feeling a little bit poorly. But uh, <laughs> Zed and uh, Fox share play together stadium, and we haven't been seeing a whole lot of Fox. But we've been actually seeing more Fox. On his side, we have Mr. Hyde, who just... No, just don't. Do not. Hip no, man. We got Norgan. I'm still not clear what a Norgan is. It's kind of old hat and believes blue lives matter. Eesh. We got Seinfeld, who's just coasting on royalties. And you know, what does a field of sign look like? We really have to consider that. And Seinfeld likes to say, let me just play devil's advocate. We have Isabat, who's still just a bat. Maybe cause the Rona and doesn't believe in dentists? Confusing. 
And we have Metallica. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Lars Ulrich the Greedy? Stan's a bad band, and gatekeeps, but is not a girl boss. And we have Bzzzt, who thinks of murder all day. <laughs> Has a hard-to-spell name for local streamer, won't name any names, working hard on content. And will absolutely short your computer and just grin. You know, just one of those. Absolutely no shame. Completely shameless. Just like, <laughs> as you ha are left to deal with picking up the pieces. So as you can see, the advantage is definitely mine. And I'm definitely not going to lose horribly like I do every week. However, I also have a second opponent. Mr. Hugh, who was at least in here earlier, might have uh, left now that he saw my plan fail. <laughs> But let's take a look at uh, my odds against him. I forgot to put his sixth Pokemon in here for some reason. But, uh, you know. There is video evidence that I can win in PvP against you specifically. Like, sure, it was narrow, but like... Also, I have the power of hard-to-pronounce mons. And... Meanwhile, we have Hugh himself, who has a Kmart version of the Tacticians now. The, those people better than Pokemon than me who are advising me. Could still stand me knocked out a few pegs. You know, the points are a little uneven, I'm just saying. Willingly wears those glasses, which... It's not a great look, my friend. And probably spends your sub money on nothing but crazy bread. If history is any suggestion. On his side, we have Trade Evos, the Starmie, who's vulnerable to elaborate heists. Got that very prominent gem who can't believe you've done this, and smugly explains things you know about already, because you've probably never heard of them. We have Sandman, who shall not find any mans to sand on my team, and a little too into certain things, and is on a watch list. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Definitely on a watch list. We have Avis, who's running an older version of government killed uh, drone software. Uses Swift... <laughs> And posts about their beak size, which... Ugh. We have Albert, the Nidda King, who never had a crown king. Hey, hey, hey! And wants to return to good old days, but can't actually articulate when said days were when you, like, ask about it. So it's a little awkward. Or you're like, hey, what, what, are, what do you have nostalgia for? And Albert can't really answer you. We have Yamato, who, ugh, not this guy. We get it already, you're a Gyarados, you're great. You're the only one using a Gyarados, somehow, <laughs> and has no flying moves. And then Hugh's sixth Pokemon, who I do not remember, I was working on these very late at night. <laughs> I do not have a great track record against Hugh or Zed, but I'm hoping that this week I can turn that all around. And you'll be able to see those on Friday. Those are going to be on Hugh's channel, but I'm going to posting them here and that is going to be i'm going to wrap it up there super short stream i'm a little sorry for that i thought pokemon tower was going to take longer but i gotta operate under these level cap rules so it wasn't really feasible to blast through this in one go because i would have run into problems there <laughs> so thank you all for coming out and hanging out spending a little bit of your morning afternoon evening whatever it might be with us uh, let me have a look and see if anyone else I know is streaming to send you to. Uh, no. So I'm just going to wrap it up there. I will be back uh, Friday for those PvP, and then on Saturday, uh, New Year's Day, rather late in the afternoon, I'm going to be doing another Shuffle Saturday. If you haven't seen that before, I load up every game that I own that I can stream that I have a like technical setup for. And I just play a different randomly generated one every 30 minutes. It's complete chaos. Usually I'm having to try and figure out how the game works because it seems to usually end up being a, a horrifically cursed Game Boy game that's like about Barbie rescuing animals or something. It's a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying doing them. It seems like people like them as well. But that is going to be it for me. So my name's Vimbert. And I'll see you around the internets.